Hey everybody, uh, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to start a project in After Effects CS6. I just cranked out one of these for Premiere Pro, so I thought, why not? Okay, so we're just going to open up After Effects real quick. Ta -ta. Wait for it to load. Okay, when After Effects first loads up, you're going to come to this window right here. It has all your re recent projects and everything you might need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to New Composition. And then you can write your composition name, uh, whatever you want it to be. Blah. Okay, um, go whatever dimensions you want. Uh, 1080, 24 is what I usually do just because I usually use this with my DSLR, which I always usually shoot 24 frames per second, but that's whatever you want. Or you could just customize it by clicking whatever width or height you want. Um, if you want to unlock the aspect ratios, click this. Uh, square pixels is the usual, but um, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, you can do custom frame rate. Um, don't worry about your resolution because you can figure that out later on. Uh, start time code and duration, that's just your presets. You can really make this anything you want, but you can change it so it doesn't really matter. Uh, your background color, I always just make it black or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay, oh, and uh, you can get your advanced settings. And if you're doing Ray Trace 3D, which will give you better three dimensional. Uh, options you can do that. I'm going to do classic 3D just because I'm working on my laptop right now. Um, options uh, you can I'll just make it comp size. Uh, uh, motion blur I wouldn't worry too much about that. I usually use an effect preset for that. So uh, just go to OK and then you have your composition. So there it is. Um, I did the. I'm working on Mac right now, so I just scroll. If you scroll up and down with your two fingers, it'll automatically switch the zoom. Uh, if you want to create a new composition at any point, you can go ahead down here to this little uh, colorful shape reel on a film strip type picture thing, and you can just create a new one. It's the same window. Uh, this is your project panel. Um, before you do anything, you always want to save your project uh, as whatever you want it to be. So, you know, whatever, I don't know. And that should be it. Uh, if you want to know how to import something into it, you can always just go File, Import File, or you can just do Command-I. And, I don't know. I can show you really quick what it's like to... I'll bring in a Photoshop document. Whether it's Photoshop document or if it's a JPEG, you just click the JPEG and it comes in or any kind of uh, picture file. But you can use Photoshop documents too and you can do uh, merged layers all as one picture or you can choose a, whole, a different layer from your Photoshop. So it's kind of cool how Photoshop and uh, After Effects will work together in here. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And bring it from oop, wrong side bring it down here to your timeline type deal apparently on the photoshop all I have is this little thing going on right here anyway that's not important something else you might want to know about before you start is uh, this is your resolutions um, the more things you do the harder it might be for your computer to handle all the rendering uh, I have that third right now, which means that a third of all the pixels are rendered, so it takes less time to render. You can do a quarter if it takes you know way too long. Some people do full because they have awesome computers and it doesn't matter. But I usually work with thirds. Yeah, I hope this helped you out a little bit. Uh, good luck on all your future projects. Let me know how it goes, and thank you for watching.